Hey everyone, I'm Mohammed. Welcome to my training course. And in this course, I will be focusing on the business storage solutions that you may have in your data center or provided to you by your preferred cloud provider. And since this topic is an endless and deep topic, I will be doing my best to cover everything that's related to the business storage in an easy and simple way, without any complications. We will be starting from the very scratch till we get to how to build or um, what is a, a sophisticated storage solution built from. And uh, we will not be focusing on a specific product from a specific vendor, so this content will be vendor agnostic. We will be mainly focusing on the theory and the concepts of the business storage solutions. I will be more than happy to um, hear from you and have a chat with you. Um, you may reach me uh, on LinkedIn or via the email. You will find the links at the bottom of this page and in the description of the video as well. All right, so let's move forward and check the content of this course. So yeah, I know that um, some or maybe many of these these points are you you may you may already be familiar with these, but again, I will need to you know have a, at least a quick look at some of these points, and then we will be going deeper on some and focusing on some other points like the. Uh, storage uh, fabrics and what a storage fabric is, what, a, what is a block storage and what is it um, comprising of, what are the main components that um, build or build a block storage system, um, uh, what, is a, what is the HBA, what is a SAM switch, what is the SAN storage system, and so on. So let's get started. And uh, I already know that you are already familiar with the, the main components of the computer, but we need to, uh, I needed to list them because we need to focus here on the storage. So no matter how strong your computer is, no matter how uh, strong is your CPU and uh, how is your memory high? If you have a problem with your storage system, the, your storage layer, you will be this will be affecting the entire performance of your computer. So the storage is a bottleneck in the computer. So if you have a slow uh, storage tier or um, if you have a problems or or maybe uh, failures in your storage system then you will be getting a, a poor performance from your computer. So you will need to pay a very careful attention to your storage solution or solutions that you are using. You need to be uh, picking up and choosing the, the, the parts or the ingredients of the storage system very carefully um, to make it able to support the workload that you're going to run on top of it. Okay, so let's take a quick look on the history of storage and when was the very first hard disk produced. So back in 1956, IBM um, introduced the very first hard drive and it, called, it was called RAMDAC and it has a capacity less than 5 megabytes which was a huge amount of storage back then. And if you, if you see in, the, in this picture how big it, it was, and here are the mechanical parts within it. Here it is, and I think this was the data center maybe, and it's, uh, it was embedded in, um, in the main, mainframe from, from IBM. And then in 1980, Seagate produced... Um, a smaller 
disk in size. Uh, I, I mean in the form factor. So it has the same capacity, almost the same capacity, 5 megabytes as the IBM RAM DAC, but in a smaller form factor. You, you still can um, hold it with your hand. And in 1992, SunDesk produced the first SSD disk. So SunDesk was the former name of SanDisk that we know these days, but I couldn't uh, couldn't get the uh, the size of that disk. Actually, you could go go to this web page here. Let me uh, show it to you. Yes, this website, the timeline of the computer history. So you will find more details and more um, information about the history of storage. I will leave the the link. Uh, down below in the description of this video. Okay. Let's um, head back to the slides. All right, then. So let's have a look on the storage types. And um, yeah, you'll need to differentiate the storage types. And by storage type, the term I mean local disk or the external disk. So the local disk, it's self-explanatory. It's the disks that you have locally installed in, in your server, okay? Uh, it does, um, regardless of the disk um, type, okay? Um, the external or remote disks, um, it might be hosted in a SAN storage or NAS storage, or even the flash drive, the USB flash drive, it's considered uh, an external um, um, type of, of storage, and also the cloud-based storage um, solutions uh, provided by the uh, cloud uh, providers. Um, so like a Dropbox, a OneDrive, and for business you may use uh, Amazon S3, which is an object uh, storage type uh, uh, from Amazon and the Azure files from uh, Microsoft Azure. Great, so we have got to the end of this video. In the next video, we will be discussing the storage solutions. I hope this has been informative, and I'd like to thank you for viewing. See you in the next video. Thank you.